Sisters, it's Megan and today I am finally bringing you a hella large empties video. I have not made an empties video in two months, which is crazy. I feel like I've been on a bi-weekly or bi-monthly um, schedule this year on empties and I don't know why um, because this is like overflowing and overwhelming. So I am going to dive straight into the makeup as always and then I have so much like skincare, body products and then at the end I always do all the sheet masks that I've used up over the past two months and just fly through what I thought of them and if I would recommend them because you know I'm a sheet mask addict. So if you are too definitely stay tuned to the end of the video. But makeup is the most exciting thing to use up so let's do that first. So I've had like a kind of sad mascara few months like I feel like I um love this L'Oreal Carbon Black Telescopic this is probably the best mascara I've used lately the brush is super super small and you would think that it wouldn't really give volume but it does I love this mascara so much I recommended this to my mom because she never wears mascara and so she picked one up as well and I love this mascara if you have liked the other mascaras that I love like um, L'Oreal voluminous which I stopped using because it transferred on me um, this does not transfer on me but it gives me nice really nice volume nice separation and length without um it's a lot more easy to control than other more volumizing mascaras so I repurchased and love this but then I opened the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Plumping Mascara which I recall Emily Noel talking about and this brush does absolutely nothing for me it's like a spiral tapered brush this stuff sucks like I don't know what else to say it just made me sad using it like whenever I would apply it I was just like this is not how I want my lashes to look I like very defined voluminous super black lashes um and this did nothing for me like it added product to my lashes but it didn't make my lashes look good and so I use this for like a week and I just put in my empties because I did not like this at all and I would never recommend it or repurchase it so um L'Oreal Telescopic is much much better compared to that then a product that you guys know I love the YSL tint and oil and cherry my Cherie. this is this was my very first one that I ever bought and since then I bought like four and you can't really tell but you can see through it and there's nothing left in there this is one of my favorite lip products ever it gives me super glossy lips but it, it's not like a sticky formula it's very thin and like it says it's like an oil but a great thing about this is that it leaves behind a stain on your lips after the glossiness wears off it smells like mangoes as pretty much all YSL lip products do I have a backup of this I have a few more different colors of this but they are discontinuing it so you can only find it on the YSL beauty website as far as I know um, but it's amazing I don't know why they're discontinuing such a great product but I used up one of these I've this is my first of cherry my Cherie, but my second of the tint and oils I just love it then uh, this was a toss. I did not finish this up. The First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer. This is just like orange, like yellow orange on me. And you can see it's not not a um, very pleasant color on my particular skin tone. So I didn't use that. Um, it's not that it's a terrible product. It's just not a good color. And this was in the shade Fair, I believe. It's definitely the lightest shade. Um, but yeah, it just didn't work out. And then another um, skin product that I used for probably like a week. It's a small sample of the Kiehl's BB Cream and Fair Light. And there's still a little bit in there, but it was hard to get out on my brush. This was a sample I got when Chloe and I went to Nordstrom. And the Kiehl's lady like talked to us for an hour. Like we couldn't get out of there. She just kept talking to us. But she gave us a few generous samples including this BB cream and it was really nice. I like this a lot because it was more substantial like kind of thick and balmy without being sticky and it looked so beautiful on the skin throughout the day. I was very surprised in this for being a BB cream how 
it lasted pretty well throughout the work day and I thought this was really nice so I would definitely look into purchasing this when I want a lighter coverage product and I think this might be really nice for the winter like fall winter when it's cooler out and this will give like a little bit more hydration to my skin then the last makeup product that I have hit my hand on and I'm just saying goodbye to is MAC Satin Taupe. This shadow is extremely old. I won this from Lorraine, the current custom. Probably, let's see, I won this when I was in college, my sophomore year of college, and I've been graduated for four years, so it's at least like six years ago <laughs> that I won this. Um, I love this shade. This is one of my favorite MAC shades of all time, but right now I have um, a Makeup Geek shadow in Prom Night, which is pretty much the same thing as this, and that's newer, so I thought I would toss this and just use that one and get use out of it, but I would definitely repurchase this. It is the most gorgeous, like, plummy satin color ever and you can that's just one swatch but you can build it up and you can blend it into your crease and it looks like two different colors oh it's everything I love this shadow I love MAC shadows and I highly recommend this but it's just too old for me to hang on to especially when I have such a comparable color so that's pretty exciting to hit pan on a shadow and it's just time to say goodbye moving on to the rest of my bag of wonders. Um, I have a ton of skincare products. I've used so many skincare products up since the last time I did an empties. This is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the uh, Blue Cap, which is for waterproof makeup. This is amazing. I'm on my second bottle now, and I highly highly recommend this. This is one that has two different phases so there's like a little oily part and then a bigger part that's mostly just like a liquid not like an oily substance. You just shake it up, put it on a cotton pad, remove your eye makeup at night. It is fantastic. I'm not going to say it removes every single stitch of makeup but I do this before I cleanse my skin with like a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm to remove the bulk of my makeup. So I take this on a cotton pad First thing, take most of my eye makeup off and then the cleansing balm or makeup remover that I use on the rest of my face, I take over my eyes as well and I'm pretty much left with no residue of makeup. So this is fantastic. It's a huge bottle and lasted me months. So I am on my second one now. I also like the one with the red cap for just like less tough to get off makeup. Like if I have a liquid lipstick, I like the red cap one. Um but I do really like this blue one because it gets everything off because it has a little bit more of that oily um, consistency. So I highly recommend this. Also for makeup remover, I finally used it the Bliss Makeup Melt Dry Wet Gentle Jelly Cleanser with Rose Flower. I got this at Target because a few months ago they launched at Target and my mom and I each picked out two things or something or I picked out one and she picked out two because they were doing a deal when they first launched and this was fine. It did remove makeup. It is like a jelly consistency like it says. I like that it was a pump but this pump would always get a little bit of product stuck on it so then when I went to press it it would shoot straight out and it would get on my walls. It got on me and it was just like not always the best experience. So I like this but I was very happy when it was done and I mean, it, there's nothing like really wrong with the formula. It's just I don't love this pump and I just didn't enjoy using it that much. So it was fine. I think this is less than $10 accessible at Target. So if I was in a pinch, I would pick it up because it does the job of removing my makeup as my first step cleanser, but I didn't like love it. I have one of my Neutrogena T-Cell Therapeutic Shampoo Scalp Buildup Control. You've seen this in plenty of empties videos. I love this stuff. If my scalp is feeling itchy or if it feels like it just needs some TLC, my scalp just loves this. It makes my hair feel really soft. I really enjoy this. I need to get another bottle of this because I like having it on hand. I don't use it very consistently, like probably once every two weeks or something, but I do like to have it um, because when my scalp is itchy, I want to deal with it right away. So I do love this and have bought that very, very regularly. 
Then I have some lotions from my Project Use It Up. Um, I just finished my quarter three Project Use It Up and these three lotions I used up in that project. The At The Beach Shea Moisture Body Cream from Bath & Body Works as well as the Beach Water Coconut Shea Body Butter and the Gold Bond Radiance Renewal Cream which I didn't really like that much. Then I had the Fierce and Fancy Naughtier Nice Body Scrub, which I love so much. Smells like vanilla mint, like a candy cane. It's one of my favorite scents from Fierce and Fancy, and thankfully I have another little size of this, um, but Fierce and Fancy right now isn't in business, so hopefully she comes back, but uh, at least I have a backup of that. I have my um, Dove uh, Advanced Care Clear Tone Deodorant. Another one bites the dust. Let's see, there's a lot of... A lot of good masks in here. Oh, another boring one, Colgate Optic White. This is my favorite toothpaste for anyone that cares. I buy this as well as the Dove at Costco in four packs and it saves me some money. So I, I stick to what I like when it comes to those types of things. I used up one of the Toasted S'mores Bath & Body Works Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. I love this scent. I love s'mores. I meant to bring my s'more cereal box in here for my empties video, but I forgot. I finished up another box of my s'more cereal. It's amazing, and it tastes like s'mores. So if you love s'mores, get that cereal, but also try this Bath & Body Works Foaming Hand Soap. It's not, like, totally like s'mores. It's mostly like the marshmallowy graham cracker scent. It doesn't really have any chocolate scent, um, but I do really like this and have quite a few backups because I'm a s'mores addict, so I just bought like a ton. I used another one up of these Legome Celeste Mist Toner. This is a product I really, really love for a actual like hydrating toner. A lot of the spray um, toners that I use are just more of a therapeutic aromatherapy experience for me. This I feel like actually gives a lot of hydration to my skin in the morning. So I just spritz this on after I wash my face and then spray this and then I do my moisturizer or serum in the morning and I love this. You can buy this at Peach and Lily and if I didn't have a few toners that I need to get through, like hydrating spray toners, I would definitely repurchase. Maybe around Black Friday, I'll buy one of these full sizes. I think the full size is like $19, which isn't terrible. So yeah, highly recommend for a hydrating spray toner. I was so sad when this was gone. This is the um, Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. You guys, this is so good. Um, the packaging is a little deceiving because it it's a lot less um, actual product than there is packaging. But I used every single drip of this. It's a very lightweight but hydrating and just beautiful feeling moisturizer. If you like a moisturizer that your skin feels hydrated after you use it, like it's literally like you're skin drank a glass of water. It is so amazing. If you like the Clinique Moisture Surge line, you would love this. I I feel like those are definitely two interchangeable products. They make my skin feel the same way, and I just really have been loving Saturday Skin. So I blew this, blew through this pretty quickly because I loved it so much. So um, I would, <laughs> it's probably pretty expensive for the amount that you get in here. It is, let's see, 1.69 fluid ounces, 50 milliliters, but I feel like I just went through it really quickly. So I would definitely repurchase that though. Something I would never ever purchase with my own money is this um, body scrub. I got this from a FabFitFun box. I only got one in my whole life and this came in it. It's the Marianella Hawaiian Black Lava Body Caviar with Charcoal Hydrating Body Scrub. So this is supposed to be like a super fancy body scrub and it's all gone. I used it all. Smells terrible. For something that is supposed to be like luxurious, well it seems like it should be luxurious, smells awful. It, it, it does have charcoal so it's black and when I like rubbed it on my skin in the shower it like splattered black specks everywhere so I just hated using it I hated the scent I didn't feel like it really scrubbed my skin and the base of it is too thin so it would just like slip through my fingers it was terrible 
I just forced myself to use this up and I never want to see it again. I used another box of these cotton puffs by the same. I got these from KCON and they're fine, but I don't really know where I would ever buy these. But I mean, they were okay. Not like really anything that great. I used up the Bath and Body Works Cool Coconut Surf Body Gel. I love all coconut scented Bath and Body Works stuff. I pretty much only use Bath and Body Works and Crest body washes, so it's just depending on what scent I'm into, and since I used this up in the, probably in August, I was really into coconut. Then I had one of the PC for Men Shave um, Creams. This is from Polish Choice, and I have quite a few of these when I had referral credits. I purchased a bunch of these with those credits, and I like this because it's just a creamy shave cream. It's not like a gel to cream that like foams up. It's literally just like kind of a lotiony consistency. And I really love this for my underarms. My underarms are really sensitive. It's so annoying how sensitive like my underarms and my whole like upper body is. It's just like can you like get a grip man? Like it's so annoying. But this is really nice for my sensitive underarms. And so if you have that problem with like those fancier kinds you buy at the drugstore, I find them fancy because they go from gel to foam. I find that fancy. Um, this is just a very basic one that is really gentle and effective on my sensitive underarms. I also use up this Kate Somerville Cold Cream Moisturizing Cleanser and Makeup Remover. This is a very similar package to the um, Saturday Skin, which is interesting. And this is a good product. It's an overpriced good product. I got this from Octoly, and the company sent this to me, which was really cool. And it's very effective. I think this would be beautiful in the winter and if my skin really really needs moisture in the winter I think I would consider picking this up if my skin is really like dry and flaky because it is a super moisturizing cleanser that I loved in the mornings as well as at night I could do a double cleanse with just this product it removed makeup as well as cleaned my skin but it is very expensive. I think it's over $50 for this container. And to me, it's just not worth it unless my skin really, really needs that extra step of moisturization. So this is great. It does the trick. It, it felt luxurious. It smelled like so soothing. Like it's just like a very light, it's like a light florally scent. It smelled amazing as I used it. Really enjoyed it, but it is very expensive. Another Polish Choice product is the Moisture Boost One Step Face Cleanser. I use this in my shower. It is just like a pop-up and it's like a creamy, um, creamy lotion-y type of cleanser that foams a little bit. Like, it's not very like lathering or anything, but it was nice in the shower because I do like to have something, not like a balm or something in the shower. I like something that spreads easily and is more like a cream or a gel. I like this. I didn't think that it was like super moisturizing or anything, but it was okay. I don't think I would repurchase it though. The Hamish All Clean Balm. I have a few of these like little packets that I got from Olali and this is a nice makeup removing balm cleanser. I like this. I use this when I travel, but it's not something I'm just like absolutely in love with. It's very similar to the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm and like there's just nothing that special to me about this. So I use it, but it's not like as amazing as I guess I thought it would be considering how much people hype it up. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is a highly hyped up product, but I love this just as much as everyone else does. This is completely gone. This is a long lasting product because this is a huge container, 0.7 ounces or 20 grams of lip product that is a lot and it smells amazing it smells like strawberries and cream at least this pink one is I know they have a few different flavors I would definitely definitely repurchase this I love this I I feel like with lip products like lip balms I have just grown so 
like I need them so I don't know if they actually do anything or just like dry my lips out so I need more <laughs> like I really don't know but I love the act of applying this I love the sensory experience with the smell and the feeling I just really love this product and I would definitely repurchase I used it this little Amore Pacific Botanical Radiance Oil. I kept this in my travel bag and this is a fine like hydrating oil. It smells really good like really soothing and I feel like it's mostly just a nice feeling and smelling oil compared to an oil that really did anything but again I used it in my travel bag so I didn't use it very consistently but it's very expensive so I wouldn't really buy it anyway. I used up two lotions. Um, I actually, well, with the Saturday skin, I used up three. Um, this I was using in the daytime, the Peach Slices Citrus Honey Aqua Glow Hydrating Moisture Gel. As you can see, I contorted it so much to get literally everything out of here. I went into this product thinking I would hate it because it's not very, um, from when I tried it before, it's not very moisturizing. But it is very hydrating so I feel like this is not enough for me in the winter when I tried it originally but for the summer this was perfect it made my skin plump and glow it was incredible under makeup I absolutely loved this it's $12 for this size and I feel like this lasted me quite a while at least two months and it was beautiful I absolutely loved it we'll definitely repurchase and you can find peach slices at CVS and I think some Targets even but definitely CVS and peachandlily.com and then I worked through this Maison multifunction formula all-in-one snail repair cream which I also bought from Peach and Lily so there's like a little bit left but I wanted to throw it in this empties video this is an interesting product to me because I feel like my skin definitely felt very hydrated and it felt like balanced. It wasn't dry when I use this, but this is more to me like a sleeping pack or sleeping mask compared to a hot, like a moisturizer because this didn't really give me that like good, like yummy moisturized feeling. It was more like a coating on my skin like not that it sat on top of my skin but that it just didn't give me that like mm, yum feeling that I like moisturizers to have like it does not feel like the Saturday skin waterfall this one feels like creamy and hydrating just like super super moisturizing this one just felt like a top layer and I don't know how to describe it for anyone that doesn't use like a sleeping pack or something but it's similar to that so I liked it it was okay I got it on sale but I probably wouldn't reach for this again but it is good I think if you have oily skin I think this would be amazing for more oily skin types that don't like a emollient moisturizer this is more of like a really fast absorbing moisturizer which worked in the day and at night so if you have oily skin this could be something you would really enjoy Okay, then I have the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I highly enjoyed this. I don't remember too much about this because I definitely used this up a while ago, but I remember really liking it more than the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. That one is very like shea buttery to me. Like it's like a dry moisturizer. This is more like the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cream, something along those lines where it's lightweight but very hydrating. I really like this and would definitely be curious about trying it if it came in like a gift set or something, but I do like this more than the Lala Retro at least. Okay, a few samples. The DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. This is a cult favorite and this is a really nice makeup remover. I don't have anything bad to say about it. If I wanted a oil, like a makeup removing oil, I would think about this, but it's not something I like am dying to get. The Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm and Lip um, Scrub Set. I used this up over the course of a few weeks and I liked this. I like the sugar scrub but it's definitely one that you can make at home. It pretty much feels like sugar particles with some oils and that's pretty much it. And then the Agave Lip Balm is really nice but I don't like the smell of it so that deters me. But this was from the birthday gift this year I believe. What else is in here? 
I used up, oh this was fun, I used up the uh, Mary Kay Time Wise set. I think there's one more product in here, yes. Um, so this I got from Melissa Parada. She did a Instagram Live like tutorial on how to use all these products and if you signed up with her like to participate in the live she would send you the samples. So it came with the... Oh god. <laughs> oh So this set came with the 4-in-1 cleanser, the night cream, the day cream, and the eye cream. And these are all um, for the normal to dry skin. I guess there's a normal to oily skin option as well. And I was honestly surprised how much I liked this. I went into it definitely thinking it would be crap and that I just wouldn't like it at all, but it's honestly really a nice system. I definitely would um, like to try the cleanser and the the night cream for longer, but you know, it was fun to try. So the rest of this I believe is all masks. So this fun um, pill looking container is a modeling mask that I purchased from Peach and Lily and this is called Let Me Skin and I'll link below exactly um, this product but it's a mask that has two steps. It has like a jelly packet and a um, second packet that has like active ingredients in it and you mix them together and you can mix it like in this container itself um, or in a separate bowl and you mix it together and it creates like a jelly paste and you apply it and leave it on your skin and then when you take it off it kind of becomes like more of a stiff um like slime kind of feeling and um it leaves your skin hydrated i don't love this compared to the other modeling masks that I've tried and I've told you guys before that I only use modeling masks when Rachel is home because one like use of a modeling mask has so much product like I can never put all of that product on my face like I would have to put it like on my face all the way down like my neck and chest and arms like it's so much product and you can't save it from time to time you have to use it all or else it'll harden and won't be able to spread on your face so unless you want to do like a more like full body application definitely only use a modeling mask if you have someone to share the other half of the product with um this came with two um sets of packets so it was essentially four times or four faces that it applied to it was okay i like the md's pick better and i've actually seen that at target recently so if you see that brand md's pick it comes in like a little um, white container that um, acts as your mixing platform and this was okay but not my fave. I have one of the Tosu Wong Pure Propolis mask. I like this brand for really inexpensive sheet masks. I like the Propolis um, formulation. I thought that it was nice. It's not like the best mask of all time but it does the trick when I just want extra hydration to my skin and I definitely like it for the price. I used one of these SNP brightening and balancing sheet mask and this was a like animal face so this was the rabbit and it literally did have like a rabbit picture on the sheet mask which is definitely cute if you're doing this with like younger kids or if you're just into that but like I thought it was just kind of like a gimmicky thing which of course it is um it was fine it wasn't like that great and honestly the fact that it has like an animal face on it kind of like doesn't make me want to buy it so I can't remember how I got these or where I did but I wouldn't repurchase. I used one of these I believe the brand is Package um, Monthly New Feet these are like little booties that have like exfoliating hydrating properties for your feet to be um, brand new again and I use this um a month ago or so and what upset me <laughs> is that I just had recently painted my toenails and I rarely paint my toenails like I paint them like once a season and they just last the whole season um I just recently painted them and I used this and it stripped the paint off my toenails so yeah I was like really really upset about that and like pretty like annoyed and mad and it made my feet feel soft and it like over the next few days 
your feet start to um, like release the dead skin so they are peeling um so i had peeling feet i had ugly toenails and i just i don't know i didn't really like this i like other feet masks that i've tried better just like randomly throughout the years and so i don't have one that i would really recommend but i would not recommend this because of the toenail thing I used one of my beloved Huxley um, Secrets of Sahara mask oil and extract. So it comes with a sheet mask and then a little pouch of beautiful, beautiful oil that you squeeze into the mask area and massage it. And it combines those like the essence that the um, mask is in with the oil. My skin never feels more glowing, beautiful, soft than after I use this. This is a super pampering experience. It's gorgeous. The oil just feels amazing. As you can see, I cut the corner so I could get the oil out because there was still some trapped in there after I did, did the mask. So I used this oil um, days after using the mask and it just feels incredible. These are much more expensive than I normally spend on sheet masks, but it's so worth it for when I want to treat myself, like truly treat myself to something beautiful, this is what I reach for. And I would really recommend this like for before your wedding or like before something that you're really looking forward to and want to feel like glowy and beautiful. This is phenomenal. Love it, love it, love it. Also, you guys know I love the Peach and Lily Reset Button Sheet Mask. This is what I reach for when my skin needs some TLC. If I feel like my skin is flaring up with either pimples or just irritation in general, I reach for this and literally the next morning my skin is like healed. It's crazy. I thought it was all in my head, but I've used it on many different occasions when my skin really needs it. And the next day my skin is so much calmer. It's so much more even. It is phenomenal. I cannot wait until Black Friday to stock up on these because I think I only have one left. Um, and I use these very sparingly. Like this and the Huxley, I use like their liquid gold and I only use them when I absolutely need to. I use the BioRepublic Aloe Rescue Sheet Mask. You can buy these at Target and it's okay. It's not really my favorite um, sheet mask ever. Um, it, it felt kind of like dry, like it had essence in it, but it didn't feel like really um, like the essence was being um, absorbed by the sheet mask. And so then I felt like it wasn't really getting on my skin. So I didn't really like it and wouldn't repurchase that. Um, the Edo Classic Real Tonic Soothing Treatment Mask. I've had this for a while, but kind of was savoring it because it looks so fancy. Um, it's honestly not that fancy. It is a thicker sheet mask and it didn't fit my face very well. It had a lot of coverage in the eye area, so it like went farther over my eyelids than I like to. So I felt like my eyes were like only half open. <laughs> So it was hard to like do anything while wearing this mask, like even just editing my videos, I couldn't really do. Um, so for that reason, especially I wouldn't repurchase. And I think it's a little more expensive than a typical sheet mask that I would buy. Um, and I didn't love it enough to repurchase. I do really, really love these Peach and Lily Original Glow Sheet Masks. You can only buy them in a 20 pack and it's like $78 for the set. Um, but they're so good. They're literally really, really good. Um, I find them to be very effective to do what they say. It says that it's going to give you a glow and it definitely gives your skin a glow. I think that it's a beautiful sheet mask. Peach and Lily masks fit my face amazingly. They're very thin, so it just... It's a wonderful experience and I think it is worth the extra money if you want to splash out on higher end masks. Peach and Lily is so the way to go. They're beautiful. I also really like this Saturday Skin Quench Intense Hydration Mask. Um, this was one the company sent me and I've been very curious about this mask and I've been loving Saturday Skin as a brand. So I tried this and it is super hydrating. Like they're not messing around where it says intense hydration mask. Like 
if you have like a sunburn or something I feel like this will hydrate your skin so so deeply and make it feel amazing um also if it's like we're getting into the colder months I think this would be great to keep around for when you want much more hydration to your skin really like this it's the same price point as the peach and lily um individual mask I believe they're both six dollars so I would recommend both of those the Neutrogena Radiance Boost Brightening Hydrogel Mask. I've tried a few of these and I like them, but I don't love them. I like the blue one better that I think is just called like hydrating. This is called brightening and it's okay. It's like a two piece uh, gel, like thin gel um, mask. So instead of being like a cotton sheet mask, it's a gel sheet mask. And it's okay. It sticks to my face pretty well, which is nice about the gel, but I don't find that my skin feels like really hydrated or bright, brightened or anything after using it. So I do like it, but it's not really wonderful. The e.l.f. Hydrating Water Sheet Mask. These are surprisingly good. I find them to be just a really nice basic sheet mask. If you want to try a sheet mask but you don't know where to start, this is a good one to just pick up. I think they sell these at Target. Um, they're, I think, $2. And, I mean, it's good. It's better than I thought it would be. And I think Rachel got this in a set last year, like a box set from Sephora or Target. So, yeah, it was okay. I used up another one of my Hada Labo. These are the Hyaluronic Acid um, sheet masks. These are super, super hydrating as well. Like, hella moisture is going into your face. These are, these make me just feel like they are super, like, effective because they're from Japan and I don't know, I just feel like they're better. Um, but I do really like these. I think I have one left of these and I buy them off of Amazon. This was a suggestion from my subscriber, Lindsay, and I really love them. Same with these, um, my Beauty Diary, um, sheet masks. I have three here. I kind of go through these anytime that I want something really basic. These are the Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Mask. Again, very hydrating. The My Beauty Diary sheet masks have more essence in them than any mask I've ever seen. Um, they are like full to the brim of essence. So even after you use the mask, you will have essence left over that you can use the days after. And these are just really nice and you can buy those on Target's website. I also use the Lady and Skin royal gold black the propolis mask i thought that this was really fun because it has actual like gold particles in it um it was fun it was nice it was a nicer experience than i thought because it has a really nice scent to it but i can't really find where to buy this so for that reason i wouldn't be able to repurchase and then finally i use this life of beauty mask biocellulose tea tree and honey I liked this but I don't really remember too much about it to be honest so um, it must have been fine if I don't have a negative um, memory of it but it was just okay from what I can remember so that is everything you guys the Sun is coming down so sorry if I have like splotches on my face but I appreciate you guys watching my empties video for the past two months and let me know what you guys used up over the past two months as well if you're really proud of something they used up especially like a makeup product that is always so freaking exciting and so cool so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and I'll see you soon. Bye!